Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. It looks like we can officially take a look at the next wave of BrickLink designer program sets. Let's have a look. So of course these sets can be found on BrickLink.com. When you go to their homepage, they have a slider on the top here. And the second slider says, get ready to pre-order starting February 7th. This is the BrickLink designer program series one. You click on learn more, it's gonna bring you to the page where you can see the sets that are gonna be offered starting on February 7th. Hey, that's Mrs. Brixie's birthday and we're going to be in Disneyland. <sighs> Am I going to miss the pre-order? I, I hope not. Am I planning on getting any of these? I don't know. They're they're pretty expensive, but I've got a ton in my Lego City and I want to feature some of those later on in this video as well. But you can see the pre-order window starts when I'm filming this video in 25 days, 18 hours, 17 minutes, 56 seconds. Uh, so there are five different sets that you can choose from. I think I got pretty much all of them the last time they did this. So I'm a, I'm a sucker for them, that's for sure. This is the old train shed. This one's gonna retail for 300 Canadian dollars. And it has quite a few pieces, 2,331 of them. So it is over 10 cents a piece. This one definitely looks pretty cool. You've got the train track, really nice looking building there that's all masonry brick. You've got some dark green accents there, some dark green windows, the nice clock. I love the power that's going into it as well. I can blow that up, I guess. Yeah, the power right there, it looks really cool. You've got the bird on top of the power line. I love the angled roof. This thing definitely looks clean. You can put this in some sort of train yard and park your train in there. It's like a train shed, right? That is so cool. This is a fabulous set. I would love to mills plate this thing and get it in the city. The next one is the Mountain Fortress. This one's going to retail for $485. It has 3,995 pieces, so these ones are definitely a little bit higher than your average set. Uh, this one looks pretty cool too. It's a massive fortress. I love all the masonry bricks and all the different part usage here to create like these T's, like the arrow slots. Also the uh, shield tiles. Look at the all the armor right there with the uh, shield below the helmet with the flags. This thing just looks very detailed. Also it hinges open, which is pretty cool because it has details within similar to the Lion Knight's castle. And of course you can see all those details in the open back when it is hinged open uh yeah this one here once again 3995 pieces i'm i sort of want to get it but it, 485 dollars is definitely pretty expensive uh so these ones here all sets that receive over 3,000 pre-orders will be produced up to 30,000, which i believe is much higher than the previous years because once again they've done these before so it looks like they're actually going to ship six months after the uh, pre-ordering date uh, so they're not going to get them for quite some time. That's how it's been in the past too, because they don't actually have these sets manufactured ready to go. That's why they're on a pre-order crowd-based uh, sort of deal there. The next one is the Parisian Street. This one's going to retail for 420 Canadian dollars. It's 3,532 pieces. Looks like a brilliant modular building, which would integrate really nicely with any Lego city. Uh, looks pretty stunning if you ask me. I love all the different part usage and all the different colors as well. It's a good Parisian street. However, it does have an open back. So in order to integrate this into the Lego city correctly, I would say that you would have to close the back. But honestly, it doesn't look like it would be that hard to close the back because the main details are in the front there. You could treat it like I treated the um, modular buildings in the Winter Village. You could just create a slice for the back or you could completely rebuild this set and try to complete the back yourself. You can see there's all sorts of arches here uh, looking like a pool table in there and just all sorts of interior details. So the Parisian street definitely looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got another one here, which is the general store. This one here is $210, this is 1,906 pieces. It's interesting that they're telling us how many stickers are included as well. Uh, this one definitely looks pretty neat as well. Uh, it's a food and mining tool, so it's just a general store. Would look really good in a Midwestern sort of diorama, and you could mix it in with some sort of mid Midwestern themed diorama. Like, that's what you would have to do with it, or I guess you could have some sort of desert in your Lego city and have this as a store within that desert. I, la I definitely like this horse drawn wagon. That looks pretty cool. Not too bad at all. So there we have the general store. This is the last one. It is the snack shack. The most reasonably priced one at $65 comes with 539 pieces and there's three stickers. You could put this by your beach. Yeah. That's perfect for the beach. I love the fact that it's like a little snack shack. It's like a little trailer, right? 
That is so cool. You got the really nice looking palm tree there with the birdhouse, the seagull right below, the menu, the snack shack uh, over top, like the little signage there of the awning window. And then I believe it uh, opens up in the back here as well. So you can sort of get in there and see some of the details. Looks like a nice uh, compact build. I like the fact that they've given us uh, something that's a little bit more reasonable within the price points because clearly all of these are really expensive, like three hundred dollars, five or four hundred and eighty-five dollars, four hundred and twenty dollars, two hundred and ten. I guess it's not bad for the general store, and then sixty-five for the snack shop. So those are the official prices of the Wave One sets. Uh, that are going to be available for pre-order starting on February 7th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. 25 days, 18 hours, 12 minutes, and 50 seconds. As mentioned, I have some other BrickLink Designer Program sets here in the LEGO City. Real quickly, let's just have a look at some of those. That one there is the 1950s Diner. I built a custom parking lot for it, and it looks pretty cool by the beach. Right by all these stunning-looking modular buildings, we have the Vintage bowling alley which actually has its own custom parking lot as well right by the zoo we have the venetian houses and over top of the zoo on top of this mountain there is the mountain view observatory on the raised platform just down from the mountain view observatory we have the eight studs house right by the airstrip around the corner from the octan gas station in the corner garage there's the massive construction site. In the amusement park, we have Hot Shots, which is just such a cool game. And then just around the corner from it, right beside the massive double Disney castle, is the Studgate train station, which is just a beauty. I think that's all the BrickLink Designer Program sets that I have here in the Lego room. However, I could be wrong. Maybe there's another one somewhere else. If I forgot one, let me know by commenting below. So there's some pretty exciting ones coming out on Mrs. Brixie's birthday. I'll be in Disneyland with her. We're very lucky that we were able to book that trip and that we actually have uh, somebody looking after our children. So we're actually going to be in Disneyland when those sets drop. I've got to decide if I want to get aggressive and order all of them or if I should leave it be. I believe they are producing more than before. I think they used to produce only 10,000, but now it looks like that number has tripled to 30,000. However, I might be wrong. It might not be 10,000. Also, the prices are higher than the uh, average, but in general, the prices of the existing sets have all skyrocketed in value because they were limited production. But now I believe they are producing way more, so that might not be the case. I know a lot of people were we're buying them just to sell them because they've skyrocketed in value. Uh, me, I would only get them to integrate into my collection. So I think that one that would go into the beach would be pretty cool. Uh, the, the, I called it the Midwestern, but just the Western one might be pretty neat as well. I do like the Parisian street. And I don't know if I need an additional castle for my castle area just because I have so many castles and I sort of want to build a custom one so I or custom castles moving forward so I don't know if I'm going to get the the castle oh there is another one there I just spotted it it is the uh the winter village chalet which is uh right below me here yeah so there is another one I forgot about that the winter village chalet well there you go I did miss one it's probably already in the comment section below what was the other one that was up there? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, the train shed. I for sure am gonna get the train shed because that's gonna look very cool in a future train yard layout. Oof, five pretty good looking sets. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed this update. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the very near future and have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye for now.